Okay. Can you tell me what part am I pointing of the plant? What part is this? Roots. Roots. And what about this? The leaves. Leaves. And this? Flowers. Flowers. Okay. Here you can see the seed is getting converted into something. The seed gets converted into a leaf. The seed. The seed gets converted into what? Flower. No, not the flower. What else? Sorry, ma'am. Fruit. Okay. What is this green portion over here? Um, mm. No, I don't know. It's called the bud. Okay. Now okay. Uh, you can see that in between the, like, this is the shoot, you know, right? Starting point of the plant. So between the starting point and the ending point of the plant, the portion in between is known as stem. No, it's called as node or internode. Okay. Yeah, this portion is the stem. All right. Know this word node or internode. All right. So here the starting point of the root is called as primary root and the ending portion is called the secondary root. And this together makes the root system. And this whole system is called as the shoot system. Am I clear? So these are the different edible parts of the plant. Now fruits, you know, tell me examples of fruits. Mom, like apple, oranges, mangoes. Okay. Where is your camera? Why haven't you turned your camera on? Mom, one minute I'll turn it on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, even answer. Answer the question also. Yes, ma'am. Tell me examples of fruits. Ma'am, fruits? Yes. One minute, one minute. Yeah, Adhika, tell me examples of fruits. Like apple, mangoes, oranges, kiwi. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about the stems? Tell me edible parts of the stems. What are the stems when it gets converted into an edible part? Give me an example of vegetables. Mom, like um, cauliflowers. Cauliflowers or stems? No. Think, think, take your time. We get mushroom, we get turmeric, right? So all those are stems, okay? Examples of stems. Um, I'll just write it here, okay? The edible parts that we get from the stem. So you get mushroom. You also get turmeric. Okay. Now, you know the potato, right? Which part of the plant is the potato from? I'm from the stem. From the stem? Sure. Yes, ma'am. Okay. What about uh, onion? Ma'am, like the spring onions? The spring onions. Ma'am, from the root. 
Okay. There is another name for onion. Do you know what that is? No, ma'am. It's called bulb. Okay. It's called an onion is also known as a bulb. All right. So it is like it has a fleshy leaf. You're very much aware. This looks like an onion. And you have the stem portion, which this part is used as for spring onions. Okay. So okay. these are the different parts of the plant from which we get fruits and vegetables for which is edible for eating. All right. Yes. So we've already seen two important components from which we get the fruits and uh, sorry, fruits, vegetables. Apart from that, the other food that we get from is from plants and from animals. Right. Now, we're, we just saw in detail about the plants and what and all we get from the, then we get rice, we get dal and many other things. Now, let's focus on animals. Tell me what are the components that you get from animals? Mom, like the dairy product that we get from the milk. Okay, dairy products. Muttons. That can be said as meat. Right? Yes. Then? Man, like um, from the animals we get the wool. I'm asking about food only. Sorry, man. Mom, it's till that. We even get egg, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, this dairy products, what are the dairy products that we get? Yeah, we get milk, which is again converted into butter, we get curd. So, these are the dairy products, right? Cheese and many more. What about meat? You have chicken, yes, mutton, and everything. Egg, we get from the birds, yeah. right? So, instead of saying birds, you have another term which is known as poultry. What is it called as? Poultry. Poultry. So, you can see in certain places, they grow these hens and chickens in a big farm. And they collect these eggs. Okay? So, this is known as poultry farming. Alright? Poultry farming is growing off. Poultry. Poultry is nothing but birds. Birds are known as poultry. Okay. Whereas you look at this uh, meat or apart from meat, the dairy products. You have big farms from which you get milk from the cow. Right? Yes. So that yes. is the animals that we get these products is basically called as cattle. Since we are growing cattle, that is the cows and we are getting milk from them. It is known as cattle farming. Okay, so what are the two types of farming you saw right now? Poultry farming and cattle farming. Very good. So apart from dairy products, meat and egg, you have another thing that you get. What is it? What do you get in the ocean? Ma'am, the fishes, the seafood. Fish or seafood, right. So, um... Growing of fishes, even in certain places, uh, they grow the fishes, fresh fishes for food, other than just catching them, you know, from one minute. Okay, so, um, you know, in certain areas, what they have is they have a whole pool. Okay, like they have a whole pool. Pond. Basically a pond, yeah. And inside the pond, you have different kinds of fishes that is being grown. Okay, so this is known as fishery. Okay, or it's known as marine culture. All right. So these are the different components that we get from the animals. Okay. Yes. So 
what else do you know about food so what do these animals eat so do you have a cattle or a pet that you take care of like a dog cat buffalo or a goat do you have any pet at home yes ma'am what pet do you have it's a parrot what is the parrot eat ma'am like the seeds seeds and everything okay seeds and all you're getting from what ma'am from the plants from the plants right whereas i have a cat at home the cat eats chicken only okay the chicken is from from the animals from the animals now we clearly saw cattle farming and we saw poultry farming now we'll just classify them okay what comes what are the animals that come under cattle farming mom like um, cows cows goat goat is cattle okay buffaloes buffaloes okay what about poultry like um we can like the hen hen okay hen um Devasmita, turn your camera on. Hen. You have ducks. Yes. Okay. These are just the random classification of animals. Okay. So, what does the cows eat? Ma'am, the grasses. It depends upon the plants. Okay. Does it eat only grass? Can you give chicken for cow? No ma'am. Why? Why no? It is an animal only. No. Why can't it eat? Why? Because it is um like it is only dependent upon the plants. Very good. It's only dependent upon plants. What about goat? So the plants. Okay. We can't give chicken to goat. No ma'am. Okay. What about buffalo? only the plants okay plants chicken plants think carefully no ma'am it depends upon the insects also okay it eats insects also okay then so it eats plants and animals right yes ma'am just give me one minute hello what yes no, no i'm in the middle of the class can i call you later okay 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 bye all right what about ducks ma'am like it fishes ducks eat fishes sorry ma'am it like goose eats it goose eats fishes so ducks don't eat fishes if i say something you'll say no <laughs> they eat okay so they eat animals ducks don't eat plants okay so are you sure the ducks don't eat plants or do they eat plants um mom i don't know like on the seeds or also they are dependent yeah so animals and plants again okay so you can see com completely over here okay now what about other uh, generally what about other animals like tiger lion what do they eat Ma'am, they all eat the flesh. They are so carnivores. They, they called what? Carnivores. Carnivores. Very good. So the ones that completely depend on the animals are known as carnivores. 
carnivores and the ones that completely depend on plants and animals both together are known as omnivores omnivores and the ones that depend only on plants are known as herbivores herbivores all right so these are the important classification of animals based on what they eat mom your screen is not visible it's not visible one minute no i am sharing my screen is it visible advika can you no, see mom. this can you see my screen yes mom yeah i think your connectivity is wrong oh okay. come on so check again so these are the classification of animals based on what they eat okay so what else do we get from the animals apart from dairy products meat egg okay mom fish what else do we get from the plants okay now this is the animals now from the plants we'll talk about tell me of the pro products we get from plants mom like the aloe vera few uh, few people like they eat make the juice and they eat drink okay i don't want it separately like aloe vera i want it like a category like fruits vegetables like that what else we get or else do we get mom like from a type of a plant like it is there when will break its stem so a white type of milk will come out of it i'm asking about only food ma i want only food not anything else we get fruits vegetables we get cereals we get pulses we get Why are selling all these we get medicine we get honey there is nectar honey is from plants or is it from animals yes ma'am flowers flowers so you know that the honey that we get from honey bee that is the bee is getting it from the plants okay so nectar this honey that we get from plants is known as nectar all right the one that we get from plants the honey that we get is known as nectar now you know i already told you earlier certain parts of the plant is edible that is the stem and the root and the leaves you know mint leaves curry leaf and everything is edible right we can eat them yes, and you know stem such as potato and all you know you can eat them okay roots like radish carrot and all you can eat them fruits and all you can eat them so these are the edible parts of the plant so the parts of the plant that we can eat are known as edible parts Yes, ma'am. All right. So now let's look at a seed st structure. Now you very much know. First, you will sow the seed. The seed will convert into a. seed will convert into what a little baby plant okay which is called a shoot then a plant okay a plant then the fruit right so this is how it will develop so now let's look at the parts of a seed like how a seed looks like okay firstly a seed looks like a little kidney this is how a seed looks like okay and you have a layer
for the seed. Okay, and you have a small growing shoot portion. Um, that is a leaf. Yeah, that is something that grows inside. Okay, almost half inside, half outside. Okay, and um, you have a portion like this. I do that portion in red so you guys can differentiate. All right. So this portion, this um, like this, there is another part. Like wait. Okay, so you have another portion like this for also. Like when we will open it. Yeah, inside a fruit you can see seeds like this. So these two parts are known as cotyledons. Okay, and this small shoot kind of thing that is growing is known as a Epicotyl. Say it, what is it called as? Epicotyl. Epicotyl. This another layer on the seed is known as a seed coat. It's like a coat that covers a seed. Okay. And this opening region is called as a radical. Okay. And just above, this is the epicotyl, and just below the epicotyl here, this region is known as a hypocotyl. Or hippocotyl. Okay. And this whole thing together is known as an embryo, that is the baby. Okay. So, the seed only, all the fruit and everything will grow. So, this is the basic structure of a seed. So, we have the start portion. That is uh, epicotyl. Below the epicotyl, you have the hippocotyl. Then you have a covering for the seed, which is known as a seed coat. And these two parts of the seed is known as cotyledon. This is cotyledon is rich in starch. Okay. This is where all the food is stored. Okay. In the cotyledon. So then you have the radical. From the radical, only the plant will grow. All right. So, you can note it down in your notes. Okay, note it down in your notes. I'll give you two questions for homework. Note down that question also. Next class, I'll be asking. I don't want the same example I told. I want different example. Okay. This is one of the questions that you will be Ma having to Yeah, tell me. Ma'am, how many we need to mention? Mention two each. Okay.
Note this down. Let me know if, if you're done noting it down. Yes, ma'am. I want examples for omnivores, carnivores, and herbivores to each. Done, ma'am. Okay, all right. So, any doubts you had so far? Whatever, whatever I thought. No, ma'am. Was it clear? Yes, ma'am. Everything is clear. Okay, and for the students who weren't present when I was teaching the parts of the seed, I'll just brush up. Please listen carefully. So, these are the two parts. Sorry, these are these are the different parts of the seed. You know that when you put a seed in a soil, it grows into a small shoot and then it grows into a plant and then it grows into a fruit. Okay, before growing into a shoot, it is a baby that is called as an embryo. Okay, the embryo will develop into the plant and the fruit. Now, this is an embryo structure. An embryo is nothing but a seed. So, embryo and seed is both the same thing. Okay, so in the seed, you have two kidney-shaped parts, which is called as cotyledons. Okay, please note it down in your note. These two parts are known as cotyledons. So these cotyledons are covered with a layer, which you can see outside, which is known as the seed coat. Okay, so what will happen? A small shoot portion will start growing, which helps in growing of the rest of the plant. That small shoot portion is known as the hypocotyl. Okay, from the hypocotyl, the epicotyl develops. Hypocotyl is different, epicotyl is different. Hypocotyl is the region below the epicotyl. Above the hypocotyl, you have the epicotyl over here. Okay. So below the epicotyl and the hypocotyl, you have like a root kind of thing over here, a long thing over here. That is a radical. The radical only here, the whole plant will emerge. Okay. That is a radical. So these are the different parts of the seed. Now, apart from this, these are the homeworks that I've given you, which I'll be checking next class. I uh, hope you guys noted it down. Have all of you noted it down? Ma'am, can you show me a seed structure? Why is she the only one who's answering? Have you guys noted it down? Please tell me. Have you noted all this? Class? Dibas Mehta, why can't you answer? Have you noted it down? Okay, never mind. Um, Advika, if you're done, you can let me know. Yes, ma'am, I'll let you.
No, it's done. Okay. Okay, class. I hope you don't have any doubt. If there's any Ma doubt, please yeah, tell me. Ma'am, someone post the message in the chat as no, ma'am. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, that was better. Fine. Uh, if there's any doubt, you can be, you know, just feel free to just text me on WhatsApp. I'm there in the group. You can ask your parent to assist you. You can text me if you have any doubt. And uh, every class, you will be given questions, as I told you earlier. And uh, this is the major thing that I've covered. And with this, we're actually done with the question. Like done with the whole lesson. Like a small lesson only. Next class, I'll be asking you questions of what we talked about. Okay? Okay, I'll see you uh, See you after tomorrow. That is, uh, I'll see you on Monday, I think. Okay, I'll see you in next class. Bye. Bye, ma'am.